All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with a not so interesting topic this time. But it's becoming more and more uh, aware. I mean, people are becoming more and more aware about it. It's low self-esteem, uh, inferiority complex. Uh, that's it. In short, no other explanation. So it's this uh, constant feeling of uh, about, about oneself where you feel you are not good enough, basically. So how can you identify using astrology if somebody can have inferiority complex, low self-esteem, self-doubts and all this? Okay, so uh, there are a lot of things which I will say in this video, which uh, will be individual combinations and placements, which individually. So suppose I say uh, five, com five uh, indications. So among the five, at least one combination will be present in most likely all the 7-8 billion people in this world. And that is true because everybody to some extent has inferiority complex, has low self-esteem. But if you see that among these indications, there are three or more than these indications, then this has reached, this means it has reached to such an extent that the person is not able to function normally. So then you know that this person actually is suffering from acute low self-esteem. So how do you identify? So you can go to the horoscope, of course. But without going to the horoscope, if you want to identify, somebody has terrible, terrible, terrible low self-esteem, self-doubt, inferiority complex. The easiest, the quickest and the most simplest way to identify is all the time complaining. That's it. He is not good. She is not good. Government is wrong. You know, this is wrong. That is wrong. Sab kharab hai. Dunia kharab hai. Sab. Everybody is wrong. Everybody is wrong. Everybody is at fault. Everybody is doing wrong to me. Everybody is doing wrong to everybody else. Everybody is just not right. Everybody needs to reform. So why this happens is because the person has a, has such a low self-esteem, has such a low conception of oneself, which forces the person to think that there's nothing this person can do in his or her life to make things better. And that is why this person is constantly complaining, being criticizing and comparing. It's like, the three C's, com constant comparison, constant uh, criticism. All the time, all the time spilling out venom, getting into politics. And the other symptom which is like the same, but you could say it's another symptom which is like backbiting, backbiting, sorry. So when you are there with them, they will insult somebody and... With that, somebody, they will insult you. <laughs> so, if you have seen such people, then we are going to discuss combinations from their horoscope, which can indicate that this is this has gone to an acute level. But from the Bhagavad Gita and from the spiritual perspective, we can understand there is not much difference between, uh, if you read these scriptural texts, there's not much difference between uh, superiority complex and inferiority complex. Why? Because both are like the two sides of the same coin. What is the coin? The coin is self-absorption. You are damn obsessed about yourself. 24 by 7, you are obsessed. You are dead obsessed about yourself. You think you are the center of the universe and everything else is a conspiracy against you. That is what you think. And that is why you are a victim of either inferiority or superiority complex. <laughs> it's the same basically. So basically this is like self-absorption. When things are going your way, oh, you're superiority complex. I am the boss. I am the king. I am the ruler. I am the one. I am the best. 
and when it's not going your own way oh how dare it not go my way everybody is a crook everybody is a criminal everybody is a thug everybody is a cheater everybody is a liar everybody should be disposed that's what that is what is uh, a product of self obsession basically yes abject self obsession nothing more than that or nothing less than that <laughs> and some sometimes humility and uh, inferiority complex looks very similar you know? but but humility is in sattva guna actually humility is where you understand that god is great and i am just a insignificant person i am somebody of course but i am not somebody who is very important and and that's fine i mean the world was there before me the world will still go on after i am not there my presence doesn't make much of a big difference <clears throat> when you feel yes there are people better than you in this world and you don't get envious because there's somebody better than you somebody more good looking than you somebody more smart than you somebody more rich than you somebody more happy than you right somebody more happy <laughs> <laughs> but inferiority complex is like you are envious it's like bloody snakes worse than dogs snakes like going around flying snakes like takshak <laughs> all right so now let's get to the astrology topic now you may be thinking why am i giving all this information because using these details you you should try to correlate what 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 kind of things can be there in the horoscope so for example inferiority complex superiority complex what is it basically a sense of a bloated sense of self or a inferior sense of self but it is a sense of self it's like too much caught up in material things yes that that's what and then inferiority complex in worst case can lead to depression which in the extreme cases can lead to suicide and so many other uh, things which we keep seeing in the tv these days right or in youtube so what is the first indication of a person who can suffer from low self esteem and yes before that if you are new to the channel and you have not watched other videos on depression and uh, darkness then i have another playlist you can please watch it and if you want a consultation my website is down below in the description section and yes if you feel you are helpless then don't worry god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you to come out of all this so what is the first indication the first indication is of course i know you know it it's a weak ascendant lord see why 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 does you have to you have to try to understand why does a weak ascendant lord uh, has the probability to give you inferiority complex why you may think oh this person feels helpless oh, that's why you know so lagna lord badly placed this person is helpless so it gives you a low self sense of self esteem <laughs> low confidence and all this well not really because a bad lagna lord a lagna lord badly placed can sometimes show that uh, things are overwhelming for you you are not able to navigate through it but even more important than that a bad lagna lord will 100% show that you do not have focus on the right things in life you are just hovering around doing nonsense and doing nothing sometimes and when you do nothing what do you do you criticize others right that is all you got to do right that's the only job you have <laughs> <clears throat> so what does it mean to have a bad lagna lord a bad lagna lord bad lagna lord can mean first of all your lagna lord is not placed in a good dignity which means he's placed he's not in exaltation he's not in own sign he's not in uh, mool trikon he's not in friend sign he's either in enemy sign <laughs> or he's in detriment detriment means you know the seventh sign from which he lords or worst case he's in debility right so the focus is not there everything else matters in life except you right 
except you everybody is a criminal you are the only holy grain of god that has been selected by the universe to uplift people right and everybody else should be behind bars okay so that is the prime indicator because when you don't have focus in life then focus is just wavering oh he did this she did this ye kharab hai ye ye wo hai wo ye hai and then secondly if added to this so for example your lagna lord is in a bad dignity sign wise added to that he is afflicted by natural malefics so suppose your lagna lord is in a bad dignity and then rahu is conjunct wow classic saturn is aspecting or saturn is conjunct mars is aspecting classic that is like the the it's like classic especially if saturn is involved especially because that makes you more that gives you the feeling of being deprived more and more mars can give you too much blabbering without any action sometimes then the third thing is lagna lord is badly placed afflicted by natural malefics and in a bad house oh my god that this is like classic so he's in 6th 8th or 12th now again i would like to give the warning which i gave in the video in the initial uh, part you may have individual so individually your lagna lord may be in a bad sign bad sign means for that planet but he may not be afflicted by natural malefics and he may be in kendra so that so then the effect is a bit less or your lagna lord may be in kendra but in good sign but you may be afflicted by a natural malefic so then also the reaction is less but imagine all the three wow that's classic then of course of course of course of course how can we forget the sun and moon sun and moon are very 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 important if they are linked with the dusthana houses then you are always thinking of the things that you do not have in life sun in 6th day 12th moon in 6th day 12th oh my god kaash ye hota meri zindagi mein <laughs> i wish i had this i wish i had that i wish i had him i wish i had her or sometimes you know i wish i had them these days <laughs> so it's it's like bizarre you know your your lagna lord is badly placed which means you don't have focus then natural malefics are aspecting it which means you are again focusing on the wrong things and it's in a dustana which means you are surrounded by nonsense all the time and then sun moon you your personality your inside which is the moon your outside which is the sun is facing a similar precarious situation or you know your lagna lord sun moon they are in maran karak sthan then also this can happen or if they are in dikshunya then also it can happen like for example uh, sun gets dikbali in the uh, 10th house so if surya is in the 4th and adding to that other things are taking place adding to that okay then also things can be difficult sometimes <clears throat> then what else the fifth lord the ninth lord and the fourth lord if these three lords are badly placed well 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 the fourth house as i have said so many times is a very important house the fourth house shows how you absorb things in life if you have a bad fourth house or a bad fourth lord you cannot accept things in life you cannot it just spills out over like poison because fourth house is see it's like lord shiva he drank the halal poison i mean of course acharya is explain he drank it but he kept it here that is why this part is blue that is why he is known as nilkant but if the fourth house is not good then you can't be like shiva you you can't drink poison you 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 cannot it's like whenever some calamity comes oh my god i want to commit suicide you know 
He will give threats to others. Oh, I will commit suicide. If you don't give this to me, I will hang myself. <laughs> and then sometimes people also get bored of these people. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have given suicide threats uh, maybe already uh, 50 times. But but you are still living on because, uh, yeah, that's how they, 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 they become a laughing stock sometimes. Every... Every 10-15 days, they will keep telling you, they'll, they'll go, Are bhai, main suicide karne wala, main latakne wala. They're gonna, they, they'll say, oh, I'm gonna hang myself now. But they don't do it. But they will keep threatening you always. Because when the fourth house is not good, you cannot digest. What happens? What is the fourth house? Fourth house is the night time, right? What happens in the night? You... You digest assimilation and all these things in the body occurs. When you eat food in the day, then in the night, the nutrients are coming. When the fourth house is afflicted or badly placed, the fourth lord is badly placed, there is no digestion. Even if there is digestion, there is no assimilation. The nutrients are not going inside. There is some calamity which comes, you suffer and you forget it. Again you suffer. That you do not learn lessons if the fourth house is bad. And then we have the fifth house. Fifth house is the house of the sun. Leo, light, positivity, sense of self, sense of commitment. You become a laughing stock. You are a joke in short. If adding to these factors, the fifth house is also spoiled. The fifth house tells you why you get up in the morning. <laughs> Should I repeat? The fifth house tells you why you get up in the morning. What is your motivation? Your motivation is to spill poison or do something good in society. If not society, for your family. If not your family, for God damn you, yourself. At least <laughs> yourself, right? How can you do good to others if you don't do good to your, your own self? So the fifth house is badly placed. There is absolutely no motivation to get up in the morning. You just get up and you are hogging like a donkey or a dog. That's all. Absolutely clear. No reason for you to get up in the morning. You just feel like you are like life is a burden to you. But you are just going on. You know, there's nothing to cherish in your life. That's the fifth house. Very important. And then we have the ninth house. Ninth house shows the house of God, Guru, scriptures. Even if you are full of nonsense, they can sometimes pull you up. It's like the story of Mrigrari, who was elevated by the great sage Narad Muni, who is the great guru of Vyas Dev, who is one of the Shakta Veshavataras of Vishnu, who is the author of all the Vedic literatures, who wrote who had written down. But if the ninth house or ninth lord is also badly placed, you try to tell them something and oh my God, they will. That is why even when I do consultations, the first thing I see is what's going on in this person's ninth house. <clears throat> If this person has a good ninth house, then there is a possibility that whatever I will say, this person can sometimes understand. But if the ninth house is not good, anytime you try to explain something, the person will rebel. Oh, actually what you are saying is not like this. No, it's like this, it's like that. Yes, I have, yes, I have. Aapko kuch pata nahi, this, that. Well, then the problem is if you know so much, then why do you come to an astrologer, right? The very fact that you go to an astrologer or a guru or maybe to your, you know, gym coach, right? Because you feel that this person is more knowledgeable than you. But if the ninth house or ninth lot is badly placed, then you the trust is not there on your mentor or on the spiritual uh, master or to the astrologer or teacher or anybody, anybody who is more experienced or knowledgeable than you in a particular area of life. <clears throat> and 
and then which is the last house <laughs> it is yes you are right it's the 11th house because the 11th house is the house of gains fulfillment of desires hopes wishes <laughs> now this is very tricky the 11th house is very tricky because if all these other factors are there in the horoscope which is indicating you have a terrible low self esteem but now you have a good 11th lot or a good strong 11th house there are very good planets there or some raj yoga is there lagna lot in 11th second lot in 11th 10th lot in 11th 7th lot in 11th 5th lot in 11th 9th lot in 11th and then somehow things happen in your life and then uh, you start feeling oh yeah yeah i I, I'm really important. I really matter. I'm actually successful, right? I'm actually happy. You can somehow convince yourself. But if the eleventh house is also smashed or spoiled, oh boy, that's like you are miserable inside, and you see no light. There is no happiness. There is no. success externally even externally there is no success even the basic things are denied so that makes you more that that makes you contemplate more on the negativity more on the crap that you have so these are some of the things and especially i have seen you know among all these you know lagna lord sun and the fourth house these three are like Well, amount I have seen. Even if the moon is somehow badly placed, I have still seen people. They 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 do fine sometimes. Even if the fifth lord is badly placed, you have no reason to get up in the morning. You are just hogging like a donkey. But but you are still there. You know, ninth lord is badly placed. You don't like any good advice, but you are still there. But if the fourth lord is badly placed, oh my god, that it's like gone case. There is no hope. So now the question is, what is the remedy? What should you do? Well, the first thing, if you have low self-esteem or inferiority complex, you have to understand it is not that you are thinking low about yourself. The problem is not that. The problem is you are thinking you are so important in this world that certain things are not good, so your life should end. so the most important thing is to understand we are not the center of the universe we are not the creator of time lord krishna says in the gita kalos me time i am <laughs> have you seen the uh, time magazine every year you know some other personality keeps coming <laughs> but krishna says you know time i am he is the only person who should be there in the magazine <laughs> nobody else no president prime minister celebrity or so called mr mrs universe whoever nobody deserves to be there of course krishna is much beyond that but he is the only person who deserves to be there because he is time he is the all destroyer he says right he is the creator he is the destroyer he is also the maintainer as vishnu so read more about god whichever religious tradition you are inspired by read more about god understand who is the boss here understand who runs this world only then you will understand who you are so first try to learn about god then what is your relationship with him then how do you approach him how do you get to him if you do these three things you will understand what's wrong actually or else you will just be wasting another lifetime that's all right so read the scriptures associate with saintly people learn from spiritual personalities go to a spiritual community learn more about the almighty the source energy god that is the only way by which you can beat inferiority complex low self esteem not by doing all this nonsense positivity oh motivation acha bolo acha suno acha socho are tum kar hi nahi sakte impossible it is you go to any number of motivation seminar you watch thousand astrology videos 
you watch thousand motivation videos you watch thousand positivity books you know self help doesn't work it can work temporarily but the moment again something goes wrong you lose it so spiritually elevate yourself and realize you are not the center of this world the world doesn't rotate revolve move around you the world existed when we didn't exist and it will continue to exist even if we do not exist the next moment that is a very empowering and yet a very humbling experience all right thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think maybe is a bit depressed <laughs> And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And if you want a consultation, my website is down below. Thank you so much. See you again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>